Yo, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Domrick, man. And look, now if you follow the channel, you already know I don't make too many builds that can actually dunk the ball. And that's just a personal play style type of thing because for the way I like to play, the floaters and the layups are just fine. And then I can take them points that I would put into my job and dunk and use them elsewhere on my build. Now I dropped the 6'3 slasher earlier in the year and that build was a ton of fun to play on. It was an absolute scoring machine. But the only thing I didn't like about that build was the fact that I had to sacrifice the midi on it. And y'all know the midi's a big part of my game and my play style. So I said, yo, look, I want to make a build that can really dunk the ball, but I still want to be able to get to that midi pull up, midi step back. I still want to be able to knock down a three ball and I still need to be able to pass the ball a little bit too. And on top of all that offense, believe it or not, I was actually able to squeeze a little bit of defense on this build as well so i'm gonna get into the builder and break it all down for y'all then of course i'm gonna get into some gameplay and then i'm gonna give y'all all the sigs and the jump shot so we're gonna go with a 6'8 point guard 205 on the weight and a 6'8 wingspan now when it comes to the finishing on the build, even though it's going to primarily be a dunker, I still wanted to be reliable with the layups, because believe it or not, there's going to be times where a floater might be your safer bet. And even though I like to go 85 to get that Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, this is a taller guard build, so it's not that necessary. And all I'm really gunning for with that 80 is that Hall of Fame Pro Touch, because once we put our job and dunk to a 94, not only are we getting them dunking badges, but we're also getting Hall of Fame Bunny, Hall of Fame Two Stepper, Spin Cycle, and all that so having that high driving dunk is also going to make our layups more dynamic it's kind of like having that 86 midi and a low three ball in the way now i went with the 75 vert on this build because look i'm not trying to posterize people necessarily i was just mainly going for that hall of fame slithery but i also want to know that once i attack the rim they're not going to give me a layup i want to get a dunk because i've had builds where i had like a 55 or a 60 driving dunk and every time I'm going to the rim thinking I'm going to get a dunk, I ended up getting a layup. So that's something I didn't want to deal with on this build. And as you can see, we're also going to get that 40 standing dunk just so we can get them standing dunk animations. Now, when it comes to the shooting on the build, we're going to rock out with a 96 midi and an 86 three ball. So as y'all can see, this build is going to be an elite three level score. You got the 94 driving dunk. 96 midi and y'all already know the 86 street ball is automatic and that 96 midi gets you that hall of fame space creator so if you're like me and you like doing a lot of step backs they gonna be money all day now for the playmaking like i said i wanted to be able to pass the ball reliably now it's not an elite playmaker or nothing like that but for a build that's gonna be primarily a scorer when it comes time to dish the rock 80 is definitely gonna be more than enough to get the job done and of course we're gonna max out our ball handle at 85 and we're gonna max out the speed with ball at 78 and once you put the speed in the excel up we're gonna get silver hyper drive speed booster and all that at this point in the year it ain't really much to talk about man y'all already know how this shit goes but y'all can see we're gonna rock out with the 85 perimeter so it's not much that we're getting defensively but that's definitely enough to hold your own out there in the wreck i low-key wish i could have got some interior on the build just to help with them contesting the paint but it is what it is man like i said you can't get everything but this is what the build should look like when it's all said and done and when you go through with it you're gonna get shades of tyrese halliburton lamello ball k cunningham and the build's gonna be called a three level threat so as y'all can see i'm currently at 94 overall and here's a quick look at where i'm at with the build so far and this is low-key like a t-mac build i mean you got the finishing you got the mid-range game you got the three ball game and you got some defense and there's a quick look at the badges and the one thing i didn't talk about is the fact that this build does get a 74 strength so even though it's not the strongest player you still get things like bronze brick wall bronze immovable enforcer of course bronze bulldozer and those things make a difference and because this build is a point guard you don't really need a 92 or a 95 because at 74 you're going to be stronger than most point guards anyway but let's get into these quick gameplay summaries man so as y'all can see right here we down five to six and i'm gonna catch the ball in a break now i tried to get a meter dunk right here i was trying to boom it on them but they put me in a layup animation but luckily fearless finisher bailed me out and all that and that's one thing i noticed on this build anytime i get taken out of a dunk animation like that i'm usually gonna make the layup and i probably had bro in the left corner right here but with the shot clock winding down i kind of already planned out what i was going to do in my head so i made my move got to the step back midi and i got it to go and again right here if it ain't broke don't fix it if he's gonna fall for the step back every time i'm gonna keep hitting him with it now he makes a good move right here and gets open in the corner but he ends up smoking it so now we out on the break and they hit me right here and my player kind of fumbled the ball i guess the ball got tipped but because he reaches he puts himself out of position and then i'm wide open for three so you know i gotta pull that 
Now I catch the ball in the corner right here and I'm just being patient with it because I already know this dude ain't got no defense, man. So I hit him with a couple jabs and I was really just trying to trigger a step back jumper right there. But y'all know that Zach Levine hop jumper pack. That one animation in that pack is mad disrespectful. But they hit me right here with the shot clock winding down to end the half and I get right to that midi pull up and I end up knocking it down too. And y'all can see I'm shooting like 91%. So I haven't really missed the shot. I think I might have missed the dunk or something like that. You know, something stupid. But my teammate hits with a good screen right there and i'm able to get to that one dribble midi pull up and i knock it down and y'all see he's trying to pick me up full court right here but that's a bad idea i blow right by him get to another midi pull up so now we have 10 with about two minutes left in the third quarter and i just hit him with a couple of jabs to create some space make a move get to my step back again and knock it down so this dude guarding me he really doesn't have an answer for me man but as y'all can see the game is still close because i could score all day but if we ain't getting stops we ain't getting rebounds we ain't gonna win the game and they inbound to me right here and luckily the pass puts me in a great position to get a good look at a midi and i'm able to knock it down and like i said i went with the 96 midi to get that hall of fame space creator but you also get a hall of fame green machine so if the defense slips up and lets you get going it's gonna be really hard to miss and y'all can see i got 29 points on 93 percent from the field and look they hit me right here and i kind of drive and try to get to a step back but i end up crabbing them so i just go into my regular jumper and i knock that down too and y'all probably looking at that jumper like yo what the hell is that and to be honest i was just trying some different shit out and i ended up being knocked down with it so i left it on and i know it might look funny but it has a quick release on it good immunity so i'm gonna just leave that bitch on until i start breaking and if you want the jump shot it's gonna be at the end of the video with all the other six as well but as y'all can see we ended up getting a dub and i finished the game with 33 points and I made this build at the point guard position, but this is really like a shooting guard type of build. And I only did that so I don't get put at small forward. Because even though the build will do fine at the three, it's just the defense on the build. Like I said, it doesn't have that much interior on it. And when you start matching up against small forwards and power forwards, you start playing more interior based kind of players. And I'm going to be at a disadvantage when it comes to getting a stop. So that's something I don't want to deal with. And luckily, most of the time that I load up on this build, I'm getting put at the two. And that's perfect because I can do everything on offense. I can space the floor out, spot up. I can backdoor cut, hash cut. I'm a lob threat. And when I do get the ball, I can create for myself, get to my own shots so this build really doesn't have any weaknesses on offense and like i said it can still hold its own on the defensive end as well and i love getting out on the break on this build because i already know i'm gonna throw it down i'm not gonna get chased down because when i only have layup on my build sometime on a fast break it can get kind of sketchy you might be safer taking a pull up or a floater or something like that because you'll think you have a layup and then these dudes turn into superman and chase down block that shit the fuck up out of there so having that job and dunk on the build definitely gives you more confidence in transition now they take a bad shot right here so we get out on the break and right here i'm thinking he's gonna dunk the ball but he ends up hitting me in the corner and if i had my regular jump shot on i might have shot that but like i said i was trying out a new jumper so i didn't want to sell nothing because y'all know me bro there's nothing i hate more than selling a fast break if you want to win games out here you got to convert on your fast breaks you got to make them count but we up 36 to 29 with about 40 seconds left in the second quarter and i probably could have shot that right there but again like i said bro it's a new jumper so i'm not trying to take nothing too crazy but i hit him with a couple of moves right here blow by and get the easy two now i catch the ball on the wing right here but i see big man posting up with his takeover on so i'm like i right, bet let me hit him because it ain't no point in trying to go to work if he's gonna be sitting right there in the paint but as soon as i throw it to him he decides he don't want to post up no more but I see an opportunity open up to cut to the rim. Boy handler hits me right in stride and we get the easy two. So y'all can see this belt can play off ball, on ball. It doesn't matter. And for me and my play style, this is really like the perfect shooting guard build. Now I didn't get the final box score of this game, but y'all can see, y'all are going to see I had like another efficient 30 ball. And it got kind of close at the end, I ain't going to lie, but we were able to get out of there with the dub. But look, as always, man, I appreciate all the support. Let me know y'all thoughts about the build in the comments. I know it's getting late in the year, but like I said, if I make a new build, I'm going to still put it out there for y'all. But as always, man, be sure to give me a follow over there on Twitter at BeLikeDom. And y'all already know what it is, man. Stay up. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.